Welcome to a new video and a new trap. And the game started with e4, c5, c3, the Sicilian uh, defense c3 variation. d5, ed5, queen d5, d4, e6, and knight a3. And this is interesting move. Knight to f6. It's better for black to play bishop to d7, covering the uh, b5 square if uh, the knight wants to go to this square. So uh, in the game, knight to f6, knight to b5, and now white is threatening knight to c7, four king, the king, and the queen, and also the rook. So of course, knight to a6, protecting the c7 square, bishop to e3, cd4, queen to d4, and now, uh, as usual, uh, any player uh, who plays uh, carelessly and uh, like automatic moves and without calculation, without enough and further calculation, will fall for the trap. And this uh, move from white sets uh, a little bit, uh, a little trap for black, maybe, if he don't uh, don't calculate, so he will fall for the trap, and uh, black fall for the trap, and played bishop to c5, thinking that uh, the bishop on c5 is protected by the queen and by the knight. Uh, it's better to play uh, queen takes d4 and bishop takes d4, and this gives a white a slight advantage, <laughs> but. In the game, bishop to c5, and this is the blunder or the bad move, because of the continuation, queen takes c5, and this is the excellent move. After this move, uh, black resigns. In case of uh, knight takes c5, so knight to c7 check, king e7, knight d5, knight d5, and bishop to c5, and white is a piece up. Uh, in other variation, if queen takes c5, Bishop takes c5, knight takes c5, knight to c7, and uh, clearly winning and clear advantage for white because white will win the exchange, knight for the rook. So this is our trap, and uh, of course always you have to calculate and to uh, uh, to also calculate the, the opponent's uh, threats and responses for your uh, moves. So thank you for watching and see you next video and next trap. Bye.